Hello and welcome. This is Nate Williams with Synergy Sports, and today I'll be going over how to tag or stat a practice or scrimmage. Now, once you have your practice footage, scrimmage, or any sort of video ready to go within the editor, you do have a variety of options to choose from as far as how to tag or stat your specific practice. Now, I do recommend that you select a template that's already preset from Synergy at the very top of the page. You can simply just come in here and type in the word Synergy and you'll be able to find specific preset tagging templates. I did that and I selected the Synergy preset scrimmage one. I duplicated it and now I have one ready to go uh, and ready to go ahead and stat my own practice and video. So let's go ahead and double, uh, double click my preset scrimmage one that I created. It should open up into a specific window and let's go over here and grab it. And then let's drag it over here to this side. Now this will look a little different from the preset tagging template one that you might have or the Synergy one that's already created. I just went ahead and uh, changed the player's names in here and um, to be attributed to their specific numbers. So the one thing I do wanna point out is that make sure that you do identify the correct player's name. So. I just went ahead and just did some, some names for these players. Of course, these are not their real names, but make sure you do have their real names. So I just went, for example, I just went down the list. They got JJ, AJ, Chris, CJ, so on and so forth. For the nickname aspect of it, it was easier for me to just uh, identify and label and put a specific number. So that way when I'm tagging and setting uh, the practice or the scrimmage, it'll be easier for me to identify um, those specific numbers. So let's go ahead and get started and we will be ready to, to tag and set our specific practice and our script. Now again, before we get started, you do notice all the various stats that are attributed to these specific buttons. Again, these were already built out for me. I just went in here and selected it, uh, I duplicated it to make sure that it'll work for my specific tagging situation here. Um, the one thing I do highly recommend and encourage, if you are able, definitely have at least another person with you when you're trying to stat, especially live. Um, it might be easier to have someone simply just looking at the computer um, and, and uh, essentially just clicking the, the stats and the players and the outcomes while someone is telling them what's going on. So for example, you have someone that's watching the game live, they might be able to, to tell the, the person next to them what's going on and that person can just come in and plug that into the computer. Um, but for this specific video, it'll just be me doing it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start this and then we'll start it with our white possession. I'm just gonna watch this and essentially tag and stat what is happening during the game. So it looks like we'll have a three point field goal make for number 23. And it also looks like that was assist for number 11. And then I would just end my clip. And then that should encompass the entirety of that specific possession. So let's go ahead and watch this one more time through just to make sure that I did have the correct stats for this specific possession. So again, it was white or light blue ball. It was a three point make for 23 and it was an assist by number 11. So now we're going the other way. It's blue ball. Make sure that it's blue ball here. And now let's just go ahead and identify what happens on the floor here. This one looks like we got possession here. It looks like we have a three point field goal make for number four and we have an assist for number 14. And then I would just end that clip and let's go ahead and make sure that that was indeed what we saw. it is three point field goal make number four assist 14. So now I just pause my video for just for a second and now I'm ready to, 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 con to continue the game but also to, to make sure that I have everything that I need. So let's go ahead and continue this and then we'll keep the scrimmage going. All right so let's keep this going and now I'm only going to stat the first five minutes of the game if I did not already say so uh, in the uh, in the earlier part of the video this will be the first five minutes of this specific scrimmage. So Looks like those were our first two possessions. I might even be able to fast forward here. 
and now it'll be white ball or light blue ball, and now we'll be ready to, to start the next possession here. So let's start this clip here in a second, as soon as I see him come across half court. Okay, so we got white ball again. I'm watching the possession through. Right there, looks like I got a turnover by number three. And that was also a steal from the blue side, number four. And then I'll just hit my white button or my possession button to end that. And that'll end that specific clip. So let's go ahead and just watch this through one more time. Looks like we do have that, that turnover. We have the steal. And now we're going the other way. So now, looks like coach stopped practice. He might want to reset here. So it looks like we'll fast forward it. It looks like white. We're just going to skip this, this white possession because we don't want to have them back-to-back -back possessions here. So let's just go ahead and uh, just watch it through. But it, it will be blue ball. So this possession technically won't count. So let's just see what happens here. Looks like it was another turnover. We won't we won't record that, but now it, okay, now it looks like it's blue ball, so we'll identify this as blue. It looks like we have turnover number twenty five. Steal in there, of course. It looks like that was steal zero. So I'll go ahead and stop that blue possession there. And now once again we're going we're going the other way. So now we're gonna wait here for white ball. Looks like coach stopped practice one more time. We could even fast forward here. Make sure we have everything in order here. Okay, so let's rewind this here. Looks like we do have white ball. So we'll start this possession. So looks like we got a three point field goal missed by number 23. And then let's take a look to see who got that defensive rebound. like falls to number 25. Now we would just end that possession. And once again, we're going the other way. It's gonna be blue ball next. So, boom, we're running the other way. Blue ball, we'll start that possession. Watching this possession through. Looks like Turnover number four. Looks like there was a steal. Well, let's make sure that we do have this correct here. To make sure who that was. I think it was number 11. I just want to make sure. Yeah, looks like 11 got his hand on it. So now we'll end that clip for blue. And now you can see we got 15 minutes left. About 30 seconds left. And we'll go ahead and finish out these last 30 seconds of the first part of scrimmage for this specific practice. So let's go ahead and, and uh, fast forward here. So it looks like again, it'll be white ball. We'll start this possession. Watch this through. So looks like a lot going on. So I got two point field goal missed by number zero. Looks like there was a block. Let me just make sure there. Yep, looks like block number 30. But then it also looks like number zero on white got the offensive rebound and was able to score. So let's make sure, boom, got the offensive rebound and then he made it, two point field goal make, and then I can end the white possession 
right there. Now that we've done the first five minutes of the scrimmage, let's definitely go ahead and make sure that we did attribute all the specific stats that we wanted and it does look nice and clean the way that we want it to look. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize this. I'm gonna come over here at the drop down from videos to matrix. And let's go ahead and see how that specific stat sheet is looking. So it looks like I have I have it uh, set to players on this side. If I think it might be default, we'll do all for both sides. So I, I personally like to, to look at it with the, the players off to the left and then the box score at the very top. So let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like I do have all my players for Team Blue. Again, if you have the appropriate first and last name, it'll show right here, not their numbers, because I just use that as a nickname. But for Team Blue, I have Ben, Joe, John, and Steve. For Team White, I have AJ, CJ, Jerome, and Tyler. And now, as you can see, I can see all of these different stats that I did record uh, from the specific scrimmage. And this is the nice way of looking at it from the box score itself. Um, if I wanted to look at it a little bit differently, maybe just the specific clips, I come over here to playlist and now as you can see see i have all those specific clips that i just did from this specific uh scrimmage and i can send these specific clips to any sort of player uh coach things of that nature um but that is essentially the nice way and the clean way of coming in here and tagging a practice scrimmage or any sort of video that you're looking to do That'll wrap it up for this video. I'm Nate Williams with Synergy Sports. Please come back here for other videos for helpful tips and tricks.